everyone and welcome back to episode 4 of the Walking Dead playthrough. Let's get straight to it. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we, we let have them. kids. We have kids with us. Then I kids. see one little girl. Yeah, that's a kid. And what the is boy, it? is he blind? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a, in a second. Minute, in a minute, girl. Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Yeah. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's a leader. Are you just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Dirk? He wasn't bitten. I don't know. Yeah. He, he wasn't was. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning <laughs> him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten shut up. We gotta throw him out. We or all smash his head in. Kenny, stop well, him! He's what a do we do about this guy? Hmm. Dad. It's just a boy. Reason with it, him. Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? Well, if he's he hurts, bitten! Then That's he's how bitten. you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. It oh, is upsetting. I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you it get is it. His son, it's a big man. deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, sure. with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... Then we The first thing him. he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably deal pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No, stop no. him! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jesus! Clementine! Clementine! <laughs> Say Clementine! Why do you always fall down, dude? It's like you're in shock every time. Help, Clementine! Come on, come on. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, yeah. Time to get down. You. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Man. Who was it? You okay? Yeah. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. <laughs> They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? Oh. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! You got a heart attack? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. 
um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. I'll go. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an I office? Some action. Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Well, everyone nice. else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? <laughs> we need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. <laughs> Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. Clementine. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. Who's that? You got guy? it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now boss. get him those like pills. Teddy is the boss. That's not going that way. Woo! I can move. I want that energy bar. I just took it. Okay. What's in the Looks like box? nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, what's this? ADM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yeah, like money means shit anymore. Um, energy bar is stacking up. Hair needs. I want some hair products. Open office. Okay. Let's do it then. Do not slip on the blood. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh, that's sad and shit. Look at Ali. No. Let's see what we found in here first. Look at photo. Let's get sentimental. There's a photo over there. Yeah, I can see it. It's my brothers and sisters. And Papa. And Mama. Find anything? A photo of the family that owned the place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, it's the apocalypse. The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem what like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. You do that, girl. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's look at the alley then and get out. This door leads to the back alley. 
Um, yeah, okay, it said Alan, but how do I move this? Examine bedding? Our parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Probably. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Oh, this, yeah, okay. Move pallet. Oh, it's my father's cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Ah, we moved it. Okay, let's get it. Um, move this. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Hey. <laughs> sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. <laughs> Nobody does, I don't think. Neither do I, Clementine. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? <sighs> what do your parents do? What Chances do your parents do? Chances my mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. I have All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I, will, uh, I hope not, it's just complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Bonding with Clem. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Right here or outside? Open your... Look at TV no. First aid There's kit. a band-aid in there, I bet. Yeah. Oh good. Oh, my Open. Let's help Clementine with a band-aid. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. You're a war hero, Clementine. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. 
I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I feel like I'm giving her false hopes. <laughs> Let's go out of here. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah, okay, I, uh, I said open, didn't I? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Can we just kick in the door? Switch drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. You want to turn on the TV? Okay. That's what I figured. Then why did you take the remote then? Eh. <sighs> Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, I told you. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Let's be honest with Clementine. Not about her parents, though. And another energy bar. Whee! Okay. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. If you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. That's, if that's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs> Are you sick? The pills are in there. <laughs> okay. I don't want to talk to Lily. I want to get them keys to the drugstore. Whatever. Um. I have. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Not the food box. Not newspapers. Not radio. Not Doug. Not. Not photographs. Not greeting cards. And we just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. <laughs> damnedest. Oh. Okay. Let's check the office one more time. Now oh, where was? Oh, she was over by the radio. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Should I give her? No, I shouldn't give her the thing. Um, let's... Okay, whatever. <laughs> this has gone on for plenty enough. I'll upload this episode. And... Yeah, this is an episode. Whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll end here. 
and then a new episode tomorrow or later today something like that all right then see you guys